We're fortunate enough to have some time to spend with Bill Pezza, who is the author of the novel and his boys. Welcome, Bill. Thank you. Um, what's the setting of your book? The book is set in small town America, uh, small town, blue collar America, and it takes place, it begins in the early 1960s, and it traces the lives of a group of boys really for the next 50 years, from the, from the 60s to the near present, almost 50 years. Okay, the setting's in the 60s, so why should we read this? This is a book about, a time, about one of the most fascinating times in American history. The 1960s were, were filled with action, filled with turmoil and conflict, as we all know. And, and, that, and that's perhaps an overworked topic. But uh, this book follows these boys as they move through some of the most tumultuous times in our history. The race relations, the civil rights movement, the Vietnam War, protests, divisiveness. And uh, it's a book with passion. It's a book with heart. It's a book that captures the friendships that these guys develop and maintain throughout their lives. Uh, well, from what I've heard, there's a strong veterans theme. What's that about? There is. Uh, as these guys, uh, we, we watch them grow up as kids. We watch them go to high school together, play football together, um, do those kinds of things, engage in pranks. But then we also watch them get drafted or encounter the Vietnam War in different ways. Some go, some don't. Uh, one flees to Canada. Uh, we see them as a microcosm of what America ex was experiencing in, the, in the, that decade. Um, and then we see them go off to war and come back, and they're different people. They're different in many ways. Some f suffer physical scars, some suffer emotional scars. So, and it raises a very important question of what is it that we owe our veterans? What do we as a nation owe our veterans? And, and, and it's, it, it's resonated with the veterans community very well. Is it true that the setting is your own hometown? It is. Uh, I decided to set to uh, place the book in Bristol Borough, Pennsylvania, Bucks County. Uh, it's a town I love. It's the county I love. It's the place where I grew up. And uh, it's a town with a lot of heart. It's a town that has experienced uh, boom, bust, and resurgence. Uh, Bristol Borough was the center, the economic center of Lower Bucks County for decades. And then with the, uh, the growth of suburb, suburbia, uh, Bristol declined. Uh, factories closed and it became a different place. It became a, a sluggish place for a while. It has now experienced a resurgence. People have rediscovered the riverfront, they've rediscovered uh, the beautiful aspects of the borough that the borough has to offer, and America is rediscovering small town America. And uh, I'm proud to have captured Bristol in that way. What's the message that I should ascertain after I've read the book? Well, this is a book about loyalty on many levels. It's loyalty that the boys have for each other, as I mentioned earlier, and it's also the loyalty that we as a nation have to our veterans. So you can just read it and, and enjoy the relationship that the kids have to, for each other, and that's great. But more important for me is that uh, we as a nation uh, remember the loyalty we should have for our veterans and ask ourselves, what do we owe them? What price uh, do we pay them for the sacrifices they've made for us? That's the message. Well, this sounds like a book that I definitely want to own. How can Good. I get this? Uh, you can get it at the easiest place is Amazon, Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com. You can pick it up online. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank Truly you. Truly appreciate it. My pleasure.